Hi, I'm Deborah. And I'm Lawrence. And in this video, we're going to unbox the um, June 2021 Buddy Box. Buddy Box is um, uh, produced by the Blurt Organization, which is a UK based mental health advocacy organization. Uh, this month's theme, theme seems to be a humongous hug in a box. I personally like the uh, design on this one. I don't you like, don't the, like colors. the colors. Yeah. I do. And as usual, we pay for the box ourselves. Um, we don't uh, solicit or accept free boxes. Mm -hmm. And on the back, it says humongous hugs crossword puzzle. I'm all about comfort and happiness and stuff like that. Hello, hugtacular human. We know that you're probably processing all kinds of emotions at the moment with the world opening back up again in Britain. Um, just remember that you're not alone with feeling overwhelmed at the thought of venturing back outside and into more social environments. It's still okay to hold your boundaries and say no to those things you don't want to do. It's also absolutely okay if your first steps back in the world are teeny tiny baby ones. Take things at your own pace and don't be afraid to give yourself all the space you need to feel those feelings of yours. Squeezes have been in short supply this past year, so we've done our best to encapsulate the warm and fu warmth of fu and fuzziness of a good hug inside this month's buddy box. We hope you love it as much as we do. Um, this says, sending you a mountain of hugs. I think it's pretty obvious why you like those colors. Yeah. They're not my thing. Clearly. Yeah. When you're f we're feeling lower stress, sometimes all it takes is a hug from a loved one to make us feel safe. And like everything is going, or everything is okay again. The prospect of less restrictions just around the corner and the pro possibility of our very indoor-based lives coming to an end. Uh, you know what? In Britain, sure, but we have a lot of dumb people here in America. Well, there, so it's not happening. I think there are dumb people in Britain, too. There are smart and dumb There's people everywhere. There's more dumb people in America. <laughs> well, there actually are more because the population is greater. No, true. UK. I mean, I mean, like percentage-wise, percentage -wise, there's uh, more stupid people. I don't know. Uh, the thought of digging out the glad rags or returning to busier, more social environments is daunting. Lots of us has bec have a, become accustomed to spending time with our immediate families. Oh, that's weird. And weekends filled with baking, Zoom quizzes, and gardening. Who the hell is doing Zoom quizzes? Zoom? I don't know. I don't know. Um, found solace in our big. Oh no! 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 Quizzes are a big pub thing in Britain. No, I know. Competition. I know. So I'm assuming okay, they're doing so it they've been by doing Zoom. Okay, so they've been doing the Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we found salt in our makeshift offices and and our gotten comfortable with indoor routines that we don't feel I, quite ready to I leave think behind. There was an error. I think yes, they, that's my assumption. Yeah. As we ease ourselves back into the fast-paced world, we might need to remind ourselves that it's absolutely okay to feel the things we're feeling and more than ever to take things at our own pace. We filled June's Buddy Box with thoughtfully hand-picked products that will soothe and comfort you. We'll encourage you to carve out time for yourself and remind you to protect your energy when life feels all too demanding. It's a box that bring, that'll bring you all the warmth and fuzziness of a humongous hug because we think we could all do with one of those right now. First item. It looked good until I read one word. So we have mix a mug, vegan chocolate chunk brownie in a mug. I've made it a point to try a lot of vegan products in my life. And um, every time I do, they always taste bad. So you're supposed to put margarine in. You know we went through that. But yeah, then no, it probably won't turn out okay. I don't, I don't okay think we have we margarine. Yeah, no, I, I grew up with margarine because my mom was worried about my dad's heart. And um, so we only had margarine, not butter. I already And then, of course, it. we Mom. found out years later that margarine was just as bad for your heart. And I went suffered all those years without butter. Oh, okay. You're meant to open it through here. But I just opened the side. To, okay. from. Okay, so you're meant oh, to... Oh, so you can do that. Stop throwing things. So you, that can be a gift then. Stop. Well, I think I mean, this we looks could, good. Yeah, we could theoretically make this right, like right now. Yeah, I don't feel like making that. Neither do I. We've got the plan. Um, so this is, you know, honestly, this is the kind of thing that would make this a, a definitely good box to send someone. Um, I mean, if you even if you're mm. not a vegan, it's still. I'm sure it's still going to take out turn out fine. I mean, it's still chocolate. Vegan cocoa sausage. powder, white chocolate chunks. Oh, originally I thought this. Because it looks like one of those containers. 
What? Hand cream or a hair conditioner. Hold on. <laughs> this looks like one of those containers that you'd get, like, like you put pack in a lunchbox applesauce. One of those things where you like take off the top and you just drink it, basically. I was ready to do that. Organic foot balm. So that wouldn't yeah. have tasted very good. They've started putting them in those. I think what... Oh, I, I think forgot the, my hair's coming down. The yeah. reason is, is because plastic bottles are obviously not... No, I know. You know, earth friendly. So they've started doing them in these, and that looks like it's basically paper, and so it does have a plastic cap. Something like that. But, but yeah. that's a lot less plastic than um, you would normally get um, stuff in. Yeah. So yeah, um, peppermint with shea butter, cacao butter, vitamin E, and it's by Skin Fed, S K N F E D. So um, so that's nice because especially because this is also a good travel size. You know, and peppermint is good for people's feet because, you know, smell. Mm. So, I think I used to make some for my sh my store. Ten comforting coloring sheets. Coloring's good. So a picture of socks. And I... Oh, that's cute. They have little strawberries on them. Mm. Uh, design that says breathe. I am worth the quiet moment. Uh, yeah. Anyways, they're coloring sheets. Well, that's a good um, mindfulness thing to do, and it's good to help people calm down. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. Little comforts, freshly washed blankets and fuzzy socks, drinking our favorite beverage out of our favorite mug. Yeah, these are cute. Like, this one's really nice. This is hands, and then someone's riding a bicycle, almost like the hands are, uh, arms are like a landscape. Yeah. So, those are nice. They're very nice. Next, we have space for my thoughts and feelings. Please don't be an empty notebook. It's an empty notebook. I'm disappointed. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, I understand that, you know, empty notebooks are useful. Uh, however, with something that's focused on mental health, I would hope there would be like prompts or something like that in there. Yeah, the weird thing is it says in the inside the front cover, this notepad belongs to. So, I mean, honestly, that's essentially what it is, is a notepad. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed, honestly. So am I. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they've come, they come out with some great stuff. And then I know this is a lot of work, but it's, I mean. No, listen, I mean, on one hand, you know, we can't expect them to get a stellar box every time. Every time, yeah. However, you know, we can expect a little bit more than this. Yeah, I mean, especially because the coloring sheets were so great. And then you have this, which is just, I mean, honestly, I could buy this at Daiso. How to choose a brighter tomorrow, Mapology Guides. Oh, I like those. Yeah, we've the got Mapology. I don't know if it was from one of the boxes or you got it, but we got something from Mapology once. We've done a couple of them. Uh, I think uh, always from. Blair. Oh right, right. I remember. Yeah, those. I like them. I like them. Oh, I'm not. A, I'm not a massive fan. I am. I really like them a lot. For something. <laughs> Since you like them, it. you take it. Okay. I don't feel like reading. So all this that. is what the front or the inside looks like. Um, and says, "Welcome to a brighter future, the High Street of Hope." Um, it's so basically this is like a neighborhood. And so this is just the, the visual thing. Um, habit swap center, swap bad habits for good, a new habit in 30 days. And so then the other side has information. You know, hello, imagine a real high street like the one over Leith, open to everyone to stroll around and shop for a better way of life. A place that was compassionate and constructive in equal measure. Somewhere that encourage you to make the changes you need to improve life for you, your family, your friends, and your community. You see, even when the world feels out of our control, we can always choose how to respond. Our high street of hope invites you to consider what you do have control over in your life and find new ways of using it. So it has like, you know, many, many articles or whatever you want to call it, um, blurbs about optimism, community, and compassion mindset, um, health and wellness, things you can control. Um, for instance, how you respond to things, what you stand for, um, whether to bear grudges, 
Um, and then also then there's one about hope. Like I, I like the concept, but I don't know. It's just a big piece of paper and it's, I don't know. Lastly, we have the zine. As we ease ourselves back in the fast paced world, uh, remind ourselves it's okay to feel what we're feeling and feel as though we have to accept every invite and request thrown our way. Uh, but just because restrictions are easing doesn't, it, it doesn't mean our, that our boundaries have to, too. Now is the perfect time to reintroduce ourselves to our nose and to avoid over committing and do things at your own pace as we familiarize ourselves with the unfamiliar. It's holding on to those shiny new hobbies we discovered, the ha those habits we built, and those bits... Ah, there's something in my eye. No, my eye just hurts. Never mind. Uh, we're still in control. We don't have to bow down to every request or do anything that anyone else is doing. We don't need to try and be everything to everyone. More than ever, this is the time to protect our energy and time. And all of those wonderful things that light us up is the time to make sure that by saying yes, we aren't saying no to ourselves. Why saying no is the ultimate act of self-care. Uh, when to say no. It's boundaries. Yeah. And making sure that you have boundaries to keep other people from... Yeah. You know, overwhelming you. Saying no when we feel obliged to say yes. Uh, remembering our worth. How to cultivate a calm state of mind. A breathing control. Going at our own pace and be a creature of compassion. Well, as usual, the articles look interesting. Um, they pack a lot into this. It's um, tiny text. Of course, I can't read. But, um, yeah, their articles are always good. So... Um, overall, I like the box. Um, you know, they had the, uh, they had the, like, the mind, the activity, the food, the, like, beauty, self-care, whatever you want to call it, and then this, which I loved, and this, I mean, given they, they had this, and this, and everything, I mean, I, I'm kind of okay with... It's all right. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they almost didn't even have to include it. Again, as usual, I think, would I want this, would I want to, would I be comfortable saying I'll send someone a buddy box if I open this one myself? And I definitely would, you know. Uh, um, I think it's all right. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the mapology thing, but I recognize its worth. Uh, color, the coloring sheets, you know, that's definitely a good thing to spend some time on. Foot bomb, I, you know, it's not my type of thing. I don't really take care of my body except, you know, bathing. A cupcake in a mug or whatever the hell it was. Brownie. Brownie in a mug. Oh, my back. Um, you know, like I said, vegan food. I'm sorry, but I love dairy for one thing. Yeah. I could probably give up eggs, mm. but I could not give up dairy. Yeah. And if I gave up eggs, I wouldn't be able to have flan, which we have sitting in the kitchen. I can appreciate an empty notebook. It's useful, although it's a little bit disappointing when it comes uh, in a box that's supposed to be about mental health. You have, you have a journal, so you have an opportunity to like make prompts and that sort of thing, and they didn't. But I think, you know, it was all right. Not their best box, not their worst. Uh, but in any case, if you enjoyed this video, can you, you can give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If you'd like to say anything at all, you can leave it in the form of a comment. Um, and if you'd like to see more of this content, go ahead and subscribe. But in any case, we hope that you have a nice day. Take care. You and I are not really huggy people. I am. Just not with my family. I like hugging my friends, but not my family. <laughs> okay. I did that plenty when I was younger. Yes, that's true. You were a big hugger when you were younger.